All right, guys, so my last video I just did um, talking about being mindful of people who come around while you're down. And while I was talking in that video, something just came up in my spirit that I wanted to elaborate on in this video. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the commentators in your life. Whether you know it or not, they are commentators in your life. This is something that the Lord revealed to me and I'm gonna share this with you and how why it's important to speak a life into your life. It's important to speak over your family. It's important to speak over your household. It's important to wake up and declare the things of God over your life because you have commentators, okay? Now, those of you, you watch ESPN, I've seen ESPN and you see these men just sit there and just commentate and, and comment. They're sports commentators. They talk about the plays. They talk about this. They talk about that the whole time. You know, they're not breaking one sweat. They're just watching what's going on and they have their opinions on what it is on how it could have been better and, and all of this good stuff. Well, let me tell you something. You have commentators in your life, ladies and gentlemen. People that's just watching what you're doing. They're not there in the game. They're not there at court side. They are not even on the team. But what they will do is they'll sit there and comment on what's going on with you. So you have to be very careful, number one, about who and what you share. And just realize, listen, when you're doing the things of God, people are just going to comment. You will have people where you have a channel, you have, you're doing something, you are trying to do something inside of your home, whether you're starting a group or whatever, or whatever it may be, you're doing something within the ministry. You're going to have people that is, they're not supporting you. They're not following you. They're not on the team. They're not doing any of the plays themselves, but they're going to sit on the side and talk about you. They're going to be commenting on what you said, what they don't agree with. They will sit there and share. If you do videos, they will sit there and share your video, maybe with somebody else, you know, um, and a lot of times just watch it and talk about you. They will sit there and look at the things that's going on in your household and they're on the sidelines talking. They're on the sidelines talking about what's going on with your kids, what's going on with your husband, what's going on in your job, what's going on with what you have on, what's going on and why you not here or there, what's going on, why why you got this house or why you didn't get this house, what's going on, did she get her master's degree or not? I thought she was going to get her master's degree. What happened? Why does her husband look like this? Ooh, I heard she gained weight. Yes, she did. Look at her back. You know, just... <laughs> I mean, funny guys, but the things of God and the things that you want to do, there are people who are going to try to speak against those things. You're trying to do stuff. You are on missions. You are doing the works of God. And you're going to have people that's on the side just commenting. And sometimes it's going to, people that you, it's going to be people you trust and you think that's got your back. Everyone does not have your back. Everyone that's smiling in your face does not know, does not have your back. And so that's why it's very important that you have the discernment of the Lord. You are, you are filled with God's spirit. You're being led by the Holy Spirit. Because if you read in the New Testament, you see a lot of times Jesus would perceive the thoughts of the Pharisees. He knew what was in their hearts. It wasn't that they said something. He perceived what they were saying. So there are times they said things and he would engage. But you'll find many times throughout the scripture where it says, and God perceiving their thoughts, God knowing their thoughts, he would just engage with them. So that's the thing. You want to be able to perceive the hearts of man. And you have to realize this is not living a paranoid life. It's not living a, par a paranoid life. It's not like where you're just looking and waiting. The discernment of God is just unknowing. So you won't have to go fishing. See the difference with paranoid people, they go looking for stuff. And <sighs> when you have the discernment of God, you just know, God will just show you, this is what this is. When somebody comes to you and they're just talking to you, the Holy Spirit immediately is like, it's just like doo -doo 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 -doo. the situation. He already told you what's up and you will, the Holy Spirit will tell you, mm, don't say anything. It's just a knowing. You could dream it. You could hear it. I've told you guys before in two times two separate incidents in my life and they were both about 10 years apart i literally heard someone talking in my ear in my sleep i heard these individuals talking about me as if they were in my ear like this and sure and i was like the first time that happened i was like what is this and sure enough exactly what i heard is what i heard and what it was the second time this happened about two years ago, same thing, all right? So the thing is, 
the things of God and the gifts of God and the discernment of God is, uh, it's big. When God starts to pour out into your life, it's like, oh, <laughs> it feels like overflow. You know, you, you feel like you can't take it. But the thing is, God will show you everything. So it's never that you have to be paranoid. You're just going to know. God's going to show you. This person is not your friend. Just that simple. But human nature is to be like, well, uh, uh, but uh, she brought me a, a cupcake. <laughs> with arsenic in it no but what i'm saying is mm -mm, god sees the heart of man god sees the heart of man that's why sometimes god shows you something but they seem so nice you just kept going in spite of right so what it is guys you got to know there are commentators speak people that speaking evil Okay, sometimes you're sitting there, you got a brand new car or whatever. Mm, I bet she can't keep up with the payments. I wonder how she got that. She, that, yeah, she, she's not going to keep that long. Things like that. She's not going to get that house. She's not going to keep that house. That marriage won't last. Oh, it's a matter of time before it all falls apart. Oh, she's trying to do this. She, she'll, she'll fall off after a while. These are words. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. So guess what? It is not that you got to be sitting around being concerned about what people are saying, but the fact that you are on your game in that you speak life in your, in your, you get up and you speak life. I come against every principality and power, every high thing that exalts itself against me. Lord, I thank you that this is the day that you have made. I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. I thank you, God, that you are keeping my feet in an even place. I shall not slip the nets and the traps that my enemies are setting against me. Lord, they shall fall in it. I thank you, Father, that you're breaking the teeth of my enemies. You'll pull the hairs out of the hairy scalp of my enemies. My enemies, Lord, they shall run and be afraid when no one chases them. The angel of the Lord shall chase my enemies. I am blessed in the morning. I'm blessed in the noontime. I, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I serve a great and a mighty God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every witch, warlock, anything that try to speak a life, speak death against me and my household, I come against it right now in the name of Jesus, every evil word, every, every, every evil thought, it's going to be null and void in the name of Jesus. Lord, you say I'm the head and the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I thank you for all that you're doing. Father, you said you knew me before I was formed in my mother's womb. And Father, you have, you have, you have good plans for my life. You understand that? Now, if you don't know all of that, still, you just keep it simple. Lord, any negative things that's being said about me, I come against it in the name of Jesus. It shall not succeed. It shall not take root in my life. And I send it back to the senders, those who speak evil against me. Lord, it shall come upon them in the name of Jesus. You just say that. Because there's commentators in your life. They're on the sideline just talking and running their mouth. Because why? Evil is in their heart. There's people that love to gather together. There's people that love mischief. There's people that love to go over dead things. There's people who like to make a bet that what you're doing is not going to last. Oh, I bet this won't last. And guess what? They'll keep quiet when they see it going in the, uh, the opposite direction of what they hope for. And then sometimes... Don't make it big because now they're going to come out the woodworks and want to be around you. And you have to be bold enough to say, no, thank you. It's not that you don't love them or it's just, it's not that you hate them. But listen, when it comes to the things of God and when it comes to things that he has blessed you with, when it comes to the platforms that God has given you, it is going to be very, very important that you maintain the integrity of of what God has given to you. So if that means you got to hurt some feelings and lose some friends, then that's what it's going to be. Don't allow any and anybody to just be up in your space after you know that they have been against you. They've disappeared. But now that you on camera, now that you're going up in, in lights, everybody want to come along. No, you cannot take people with you. That is this way. All right, guys. So listen, commentators are just what it is. 
they create mischief they are busybodies they go around spreading news they're the ones that go around uncovering secrets they're the ones that do not know how to conceal a matter and these are all sins so be sure that you speak a life in your in your life each and every day and just know that there are commentators in your life whether you think you're important or not trust me you're important to somebody all right guys don't forget to like share and to subscribe